There is nothing like shrimp, fresh off an Alaskan boat. In Prince William Sound, it's as if they soak in the flavors of the fabulous scenery. As KTVA's Emily Carlson found out on a trip to Valdez when Mark and Emmy Swanson took her out shrimping. We're gonna get a breeze, but uh, certainly getting some sunshine. Welcome aboard the Stagel Stuga. Mark Swanson bought it to enjoy retirement with wife Emmy. All right. Its name is Swedish for relaxing retreat. That is, oh, pot. until they discovered that shrimpin' yeah. and a few shrimp. was addicting. Fires are round buckets, round about like this. And while their enthusiasm was high, in they go. Oh, yay, Mr. Crab stayed out. Mark and Emmy found they had a lot to learn. And their whole theory is set your pots where other people set their pots because. I don't want to gross you out, but shrimp are kind of like cockroaches. They go where there's food. The two tried a lot of spots before they settled on this one. Oh, I can't see it from here. The current can be strong in Prince William Sound, and Mark and Emmy lost a lot of their pots. At first we thought, oh, somebody's stealing our shrimp pots, or somebody's pulling our shrimp pots, and we were just setting them on a slope. And then the tide would come in, and they would just float away. Seven years later, the Swansons are seasoned shrimpers. They know how deep to drop their pots. Uh, yeah, 188. About 200 feet. It smells really icky. And they've gotten used to the potent smell of kibble and herring bait. If we get a gallon, we're pretty happy. A gallon is about 50 shrimp. Between their four pots, that's exactly how many we landed. There are five species of shrimp in Alaska, and today we caught three. These are, there's a striped shrimp, another stripe and then a spot. And there's also a pink shrimp. Since they're bottom feeders, Emmy rinses them in salt water and then throws them in fresh water. These are, they're starting to really pink up now. Oh my goodness, he's a big one. Then it's time to rip the heads off. Unscrew it. Six, seven, That's because the best part of this whole experience is about to happen. And I have a little basket here that I'll put the shrimp in so that I don't lose them. Emmy turns on the grill. Because. Losing a shrimp is, is not a good thing to do. Then reaches for our delicacies. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> but in this boat, we follow the five second rule. Mark scrubs the floors on a regular basis. My tolerance for mud is low. Disaster averted. And now it's time to eat. There we go. Shrimp. Emmy swears the shrimp are better than lobster. They rarely make it off the boat. Reporting for Frontiers, I'm Emily Carlson. Oh, that makes me hungry. Our own Joe Vigil has taken up photography and recently headed out to Girdwood to look for eagles. And on the drive, he thought he saw a tire in a tree. But when he turned around and stopped to check it out, he was in for a surprise. It was a mama and her cub that he saw in that same tree just a few feet off the highway. Well, the cub seemed very curious, the mom a little annoyed. Joe had a telephoto lens, so he, he didn't get too close. But after he got these pictures, he continued on to Girdwood. But on his way back to Anchorage, he checked on the bears, still there, but sound asleep. And Joe has more great photos on his Facebook page. He says animals somehow just like to look at him. Well, we'd love to share more of your photographs on Frontiers, yet another way to bring you the faces, places, and spirit of Alaska. So send them to Frontiers at KTVA.com. That's Frontiers at KTVA.com. Well, thank you for being a part of this week's conversation. It's a good time of the year for all of us to reflect on the bounty that comes to Alaska. We'll see you next week.